Hello techies. In this tutorial we will learn about safe search detection action which is available under Google Vision actions. By using safe search detection action we can perform safe search on a local image. All right. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Safe search detection detects explicit content such as adult content or violent content within an image. This feature uses five categories such as adult, spoof, medical, violence and racy and returns the likelihood such as unknown, very, unlikely, possible, likely, very likely. This kind of likelihood that is each present in a given image. All right. Now, first of all, we'll see safe search detection action parameters. The first parameter is the API key. This API key, we are going to get it from the Google Cloud platform. Another one, provide image. This image, we are going to detect the safe search detection by using an image, right? So that we are going to provide the image from file or from GCS. From file is nothing but from local file. If you are going to select from GCS, you are going to provide GCS image URI. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select from file. And if you see the advanced, the timeout, I'm having default timeout for 30 seconds. In a such a way, it will connect Power Automate Desktop as well as the Google Cloud. It will try to connect these two applications in between time of 30 seconds. If it is not happened within 30 seconds, then it will give it as timeout. Now we'll see the output variables. We are having two variables produced. One is JSON, another one status code. JSON is the response. We'll get it from the particular safe search detection action. JSON is nothing but JavaScript object notation, which is the standard text-based format representing structured data and the status code you will get it as 200 for successfully process the request whereas 400 we will get it the bad request response which indicates that the server cannot or will not process the request all right now i will show you a small example over here if you see on my screen i'm having an image with the, with the guy smiling face now I want to detect the feature from these five categories. One is adult, spoof, medical, violence, and racy. As we see, this is the handsome, right? So that it will mostly, it will come under the racy, right? Now I want to detect, is it the safe search detection or not? In the real time scenario, if we are going to search for some of the images on the internet, all right. In that case, we will get a lot of images like adult spoofing, medical and the violence and the racy. And what basis you are searching for and what kind of images you are searching. In that case, we will use safe search detection. Before that, let me show you the API key. We have already created an API key in Google Cloud Platform under API and services with the name of Vision API. All right, let me copy the same key over here. Now I'm going to provide this API key inside the API key parameter. So I don't want to do it in the same way. Let me click on cancel. As a good practice, I'm going to provide this API key in the particular variable by using set variable action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. I'm going to give the name over here as API key for the variable. And then I'm going to provide two over here, the key which I have just copied. All right, now let's click on save. Now we are going to drag and drop this save search detection action, which is available under Google Vision actions. Let me drag and drop. Now the API key, now I'm going to select API key at the variable over here. Let me select the API key. Now I'm going to provide the image over here. So if you can see, I'm going to select the option from file, nothing but local file, I'm going to select it. So image file that I'm going to select from my local path. Let me click on select file. I have redirected to Power Automate Desktop, 
which is my local folder and there you can find the same image over here let me select that and then click on open now let's click on save to save the action now our flow is ready by using this save search detection by using our image we can see such a is it the kind of adult content or violet content which we are having inside the image all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see inside the flow variables i got the response that is in the format of json let's click on that let me expand the responses inside that i'm having save search annotations there you can see the values adult very unlikely and these kind of things let's click on more to see the output there once again if you see i'm having these five categories one is adult spoof medical violence and racy now based on likelihood we are having these values right now on the particular image is it adult very unlikely and racy it's likely over here based on our save search detection action by using cloud vision api right the image is likely with the racy so that the output has given in a such a format that you can see the output as likely if you want if you are going to use different different images in that case you will get unknown also you will get the values very unlikely now you can see here very unlikely is there or you will get unlikely or likely possible very likely unlikely you will get it all right i hope you understand how to work with save search detection action as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day